Hey guys, Barry here and welcome back to IGS and welcome to Pixel Cross Adventure on Nintendo Switch. And this is from my friends Score Studios and of course Rainy Frog. Now, it's the game is in English. Let's see if I can change it now. I have no clue where I am. Okay, let's see. Yeah. Uh. Oh, here we go. Nice one. That's a lot better. Oh, cool. That's that's pretty clever. One-handed mode. Okay, new game. Previously on the Pixel Cinematic Universe. Professor Molecule M. Matrix invented a substance called Pixel Dust with the ability to turn anything it touches into pixels. When Scorchan accidentally breaks the Pixel Dust powdered Pixelmatic 3000 camera, all heck breaks loose. The Professor's Fat Cat debug covered in the Pixel Dust escapes and causes most of the world to disappear into a cloud of pixels. Scorchan and Gig go around and fix everything through logic puzzles, eventually ending up restoring the whole earth. As their heroes go home to celebrate, they accidentally leave behind a pot of pixel dust from a new batch the professor had made. And it's gone. Our heroes are kept busy and distracted with a new invention. Pixel Paint 3000, which strains the colour from anything covered in it. After Score Chan spills it everywhere, she and Gig bring the colour back to everything through more logic puzzling. However, in the meanwhile, Home sweet home. Let's see what we have here in this cup of those weirdos left behind in outer space. Such litters. Oh my, this is interesting. This is very interesting. This pixel dust has some curious properties. Perhaps I can use it to power my most recent creation. Let's see. She's alive. She's alive. <laughs> Hello world, I think I shall name you Underscore Ah 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 Underscore, my pretty Let's see what else we can do with this pixel dust Perhaps I can also power my Mono... Uh, chromatosaur, is it? Monochrome Atosaur, whatever the hell it is, 3000 <laughs>
Fair enough. Oh my, oh my, a massive success. Ha 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 ha. Now I can finally fulfill my dream of turning everything into glorious black and white. Away with these monstrous colours. Only black and white. Zeros and ones. Beautiful simple pixels. No um Big Witty. Oh. Underscore. Take this laser, fill it with this pixel dust, and go out and uh, go out to turn the world black and white. Pixelate. Ah ha 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 ha! Beautiful, beautiful. Everything is so much simpler already. This new beautiful black and white world of pixels shall be my greatest achievement. Or my name isn't Doctor Monochromatic. Go underscore, go forth and pixelate. Ha 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 ha! Is that it? Ha 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 ha! Is that girl from Monsters Inc? <laughs> Oh my! Oh no 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 no! This is bad! <laughs> I'll stop, sorry. There's pixel colours, which you'll see soon on the channel as well. Scorchan, wake up! Something is going around pixelating stuff into oblivion. Yawn! Whatever is happening, Professor, it can't be me. I've been napping since, um... What time is it now? I wish I could tell you, Scorchan, but look behind you. Ah oh, well, that explains why he didn't wake up. My alarm clock is... Hey! Where's my alarm clock? Exactly, objects are being pixelated and disappearing all around us. But I didn't do it, I swear. I know, for a change it wasn't you, but we need to fix this and figure out what is going on. Walk over to where your alarm clock was, and see what is up with it. Oh great, all the information is still there. We can play, piece it back together, again using logic. This looks to be like a common and very popular form of logic puzzle, sometimes called a monogram. Or, ah oh, sorry, a nanogram. Do you want me to explain how these work? Cool, let's just, let's do the tutorial. The pixels in Pixel Cross Adventure are classic nonogram, or pixel crossword puzzles. The idea is that you form a picture in the grid by filling in squares according to the clues. The clue along the, the left, the clues along the left and top tell you how many squares to fill in and where. Let's take a closer look. This clue tells you somewhere in this row you need to fill in three blocks, but the need to touch to form a solid line of three blocks. If there is more than one clue, need to have at least one empty grid square between them. So these clues, for example, mean that you need to draw two blocks that touch leave that, that touch leave at least one square empty, and then draw three more. These more or less are all the rules, but things can get a little complicated. Let's go back to the puzzle. In this column here, we need to only draw a single block. Seems easy, right? But at this stage, it could be any, it could go anywhere. There is eventually one, only one place where it can be, but we can't determine that quite yet. The same goes for this column here. We need to draw four blocks a touch, but there are two ways that could be done. We don't yet know which is the correct way. 
This row, however, look, it says we need to draw five blocks that touch. And hey, this grid row is only five blocks along. Sorry, this five blocks, five blocks long, Jesus Christ. That means each and every block here needs to be filled in. Why don't we let you try that? Okay, use the plus or analog to move the cursor and press A to draw a block. Draw five blocks in this row, please. So we use the D-pad, the plus, sorry, the D-pad or the left stick. Excellent, and look at this row, A1 and three and a three. We need to draw a single block, then leave one empty, and then three more blocks. Hey, that would require exactly five blocks as well. One block, one empty, three blocks makes five. Why don't you fill in this row as well, remember? Okay. Oh. Oh, sorry. Now here's the cool trick. That empty square there, we know it has to be empty. So what we can do is we can mark it by pressing B. Uh, you mark the square, your cursor is over. This is very handy because often known where you can draw, a square will lead you to know where you can. Why don't you go mark this grid? Square by uh, here by moving the cursor and pressing B. Great, let's go back to this column. We see from the row of five, we already have filled in that one. But let me just mess it up a little for you. I've just added a square that shouldn't be there, sorry. To remove any square, or indeed any marked square, just move your cursor over, cursor to it, and press the same button that drew the square to erase it. So why don't you erase that square by moving the cursor and there and pressing A. Awesome. Now why don't you mark that entire column as empty by pressing B in every square. See how knowing you can't place any blocks there helps a bit by figuring out where you can draw? Let's see this column of four again. Ah, now we have some information. Can you, uh, can you now fill in this column correctly? See, just by using logic, you can fill in the rows and columns according to the clues. No guessing needed. This puzzle seems pretty easy to finish now. Why don't you try it? Okay. So... So you weren't going across here, so let's... Uh, we have four here. There we go. It is... It's a P for pixel. Well done. What the hell is he blue at the bottom? Okay, we can check the library. In the center of town in the game. Okay. Hmm. Thank you. Roulette. Okay. Okay, let's give it a go. So this is one and oh, three. This has to be three. One, one, one. Oh. We can delete that. There we go, nice one. Alarm clock. New best time, you know, get it? No? Alright. <laughs> that joke was terrible. Awesome, by puzzling that bunch of clues back into an alarm clock, you managed to bring it back into our reality. 
why don't you go and gig out? Why don't you and gig go out and fix as much stuff as you can by walking up to these weird floating pixels and pressing A. In the meantime, I'll do some research here to get to the bottom of what is happening and who is doing it. Right up, Professor, as usual. Scorchan is on the case, saving the world and being awesome. Come on, gig, let's go. Let's give it a go, I think. What any? So this is ten. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. That's done. So we have two and two here. One and one. One and one, one and one. That wasn't too bad, actually. Oh, cool. Oh, it's my phone. If you make sure to have yours with you at all times, we can communicate while the two you two are out and about being heroes. Okay, anything else? Is that what I think it is? What is this? Requirements? I can't access this yet. What is going on here? Hmm, seems like you need to gain some experience before you can tackle this one. Perhaps clear some more of these puzzles. Tuh. Let's go. No. Okay, so we leveled up. Maybe we can do it now. Level 2. Okay, let's start at the bottom. pretty easy. Stairs. <laughs> reading books, okay. There are a lot of cool books to read in Pixel Cross Adventures you can use. You can flip pages by pressing left and right. When you're... On, okay. No, let's give it a go. So up here first. You can hold A and do left and right, it's pretty handy.
This is obviously wrong. This is 10. This is 10. What is a coffee machine? It is, yeah. Oh, okay. Let's see what else can we do. Get rid of this. No, that's completely wrong. So we need two, two, and three. Two, one, three. Mm-mm. Can we restart it? Reset it? Yeah. This is 10.
Let's restart this. What is it meant to be? Like, a, is it like a, a clothes hanger or something? Well, not a clothes hanger, you know, like a... Wait, hanger jackets or something? Okay, the one has to be there. What is it? This is gonna drive me nuts. Yes, please. Let's 
see where I'm going wrong with this. Really? It's a plant. A fucking plant. God. Yes, they are. We'll do one more and then we have to go. Sorry. I got it. I actually got it. Wow. A mailbox. Okay. So guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. The first 30 plus minutes of the game in action. Sweet. Okay. Theme. Oh wow. Yeah, so yeah, do support Score Studios and Rainy Frog. This game is coming out next week and correct to Europe. It's out now in Japan. You can of course check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, and for more Nintendo and Indies, keep it right here at IGS. Alright guys, see you soon.